So the job of soup in cooking is to help you digest the rest of your meal a little more efficiently and also set you up for what the meal is. So if it's a really hearty soup like the one we're making, which is a lentil soup with lots of veg and it's got protein, I usually will finish my meal with something lighter like a salad. But not just any salad, no wilted lettuce, cucumbers and tomatoes in our house. This is a little bit of work, but it's so worth it and does so much for your digestion. We're going to start by making the dressing. We're just going to make a quick sort of basic vinaigrette. I'm going to take a shallot or a piece of a shallot. Now, a lot of people don't cook with shallots because they're harder to peel, but they're so sweet and you can use them raw in a dressing. A red onion or a regular onion is going to be much too peppery and strong. You're not going to want to eat that dressing. So we're going to just really finely chop the shallot. I mean, you don't have to, you know, food process it, but you don't want big chunks either. This is going to go right into our salad bowl. I am probably one of the laziest cooks on the planet. If I don't have to dirty a dish, dirty a utensil, or dirty an extra spoon, I don't. So make your life easy. Go right from the board, right in. So now we're gonna take some walnut oil. You can use almond, pistachio, hazelnut, whatever floats your boat. Some red wine vinegar to give it a little bit of acid. And remember that your ratio is three or four parts oil to one part acid, whether it's lemon or orange whatever. Now we take some extra virgin olive oil, a few squeezes of salt. You may use pepper in this if you like. Not a fan, so I don't really use it. And then a tiny bit of brown rice syrup because the greens that we're using are a little bit more bitter and we want to sort of take the edge off that bitterness. And then all we'll do is take a whisk and just pull the dressing together until it's emulsified, meaning that it's not separated. And as soon as that happens, the dressing's done. Now, you haven't broken a sweat yet, so this is not that much work to make a salad. So now we're gonna take and get our greens ready. And the first thing we're gonna use is a Belgian endive. And Belgian endive comes to us, here's a surprise, from Belgium. And it was discovered by a botanist in 1862. I know, useless information. He was putting chicory in his basement for the winter and discovered this little sprout growing out the end. So he decided to try forcing it like you force a lily. So as he did that, this beautiful sprout grew and it has a delicate bitter taste. They actually wrap them by hand, each one, because they brew so easily. They don't have a long shelf life. So when you buy them at the market, don't buy like a dozen, you buy a couple because once they bruise, they become not so cool bitter, okay? Then we're gonna take some radicchio, also bitter. And I'm gonna explain to you why we're using all these bitter greens. It's not to offset the rice syrup. It's actually to help you digest the rest of the meal. Anything that's bitter, like endive, arugula, right? All of those bitter greens help you to digest more efficiently. And when you digest more efficiently, you can manage your weight and you are a happier camper because your liver is happy. And when your liver is happy, then everyone around you is also happier. So we have some baby arugula, some baby spinach because it's delicious. And then the star of the show, escarole. When you buy escarole, you have to be sure to get into all the leaves and wash the sand out because it grows in sandy soil. And you want to cut off anything that's brown on the bottom because anything that's brown doesn't give you anything and also the bitterness will just be way too much. You just want to slice this into ribbons. You're going to pop it in now. If I were someone who likes to dirty things, I would use these tongs to mix this. But I tend to use the best tools I have, which are my hands. And we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna toss until the dressing coats the leaves and they're shiny. And the way you know you haven't made too much dressing, because we tend to err to the side of pouring the whole bottle over it, is there's no pool of dressing in the bottom of the bowl. When there's no pool and your leaves are shiny, you did it. So now what we'll do is just take our salad, put it into a beautiful serving bowl so that when you put salad on the table, it's got bright colors, it's shiny with dressing, everybody's a happier camper. And then just before serving it, you'll take some toasted pine nuts, hazelnuts, whatever, sprinkle them over top so that as people serve the salad, they'll mix in. You don't want to mix them in too early or too soon or they just become soggy. And what you want is that 
crunch, you want the bitter greens, you want the lovely dressing with a little bit of sweetness, and this is gonna to come together as like the perfect bite of salad. Not to mention the fact that if you use walnuts or any kind of nuts, if you look at the uh, results of the Seventh-day Adventist study, people who eat nuts on a regular basis live about 10 years longer than people who don't. So you might wanna consider getting nuts into your diet. And I'm gonna dig into this salad in a little while.